Menu tonight is shrimp scampi with angel hair pasta. I'm, we're filming from a weird angle tonight because my phone needs to be plugged in because the battery's kind of dying. So I've got some butter and olive oil and a little bit of garlic heating up in my pan here. We're gonna add a little bit more garlic because if a recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, what do you do? Four, minimum. So we're gonna throw in a couple more. Our garlic press, the Pampered Chef garlic press, you can press your garlic skin and all. No need to peel it first because it does the peeling for you. Comes with this little handy dandy tool. Open it up, oops, a little more garlic there. And there's the garlic skin. Never have to touch your hands. No stinky garlic hands. And you're ready for the next clove. In it goes. Give it a squeeze. Scrape off all the goodness. And there's the skin. Ta-da! Right into the sink it goes. So we're just gonna let the garlic get kind of fragrant. We don't want it to cook and burn, we just you know, want it to smell good. While that's going, we're going to open a bottle of wine. Pamper Chef wine bottle opener, coolest thing ever. The base has these little blades inside, so that acts as your foil cutter. This wine opener charges on a USB cord, and on a one hour charge, you guys see this over here? On a one hour charge, it'll open 60 bottles of wine. That's one heck of a party. Does all the work for you. There's my cork. Press it this way and the cork's going to come right back out. Ta-da! I'm going to throw that back on the base. Move that off the heat because I don't want the garlic to burn. I'm going to throw a little wine in there. And we're just going to let that cook down for about two minutes. We want the, um, the alcohol to burn off. Throw a little pepper in there. And while that's cooking down, I'm going to get my lemon ready. Let me move my little shrimpies out of the way. And a knife. I'm sure you know you always want to roll your citrus before you juice it. That breaks up all the little cells in there and lets you get more juice. If you are somebody who has carpal tunnel or back issues, you can throw your piece of citrus into the microwave for 15 seconds, and it'll do the same thing. Get this guy ready. This is going to go in at the end. Put that aside. We're going to give this about a minute to cook down. All right, so our butter, wine, and garlic mixture has cooked down a little bit. We're gonna throw in the shrimp now. You know what, we're just gonna slime all in there. We're not gonna be fancy about it. All the kids in the pool. There we go. And we wanna let them get pink give them a flip. And while those are going, I've got some salted water up to boil over on that side. And we're going to throw in some angel hair pasta as soon as that comes to a rolling boil. So these tongs you see me using, these are called our saute tongs. They flip closed when they're in your drawer, so they just sit flat. No sprunging open. Sprunging, that's a technical term. When you want to use them, flip them open. They've got silicone grip on the exterior. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? The silicone grip. So they're not going to scratch up your nonstick cookware. But on the interior, they're textured. So they'll grab things like shrimp and scallops, the kind of delicate, slippery suckers. It's not quite pink yet. All right, so we're going to give these about a minute. And we'll come back when they're ready to be flipped. So just flipping the last of these shrimp, and they're pretty much done, almost. I've got the pasta going in the pot next door. We're going to give a squeeze of lemon juice. I'm going to just toss the pasta a little bit so it doesn't get sticky. A 
With citrus fruit and a citrus press, you always want to put the fruit in upside down. I know it looks like it should go this way, but it actually goes this way because it's going to turn your piece of fruit inside out and get all the juice out of it. And it's not going to scorch it in the eye. Inside out. Kitchen tip. Take this peel and put it down your disposal. It'll keep your sink nice and fresh. This guy's a little shimmy. And we've got some, where did my shears go? Some fresh parsley to add a nice pop of color and some fresh flavor. And since it's green, we count that as a vegetable. So here's our vegetable. I'm just gonna snip it up a little bit more. Our kitchen shears are great not only for snipping up your herbs, but for taking apart a chicken. Comes apart for easy cleaning, works as a great weapon. And then pops right back together. Lifetime guarantee on these. The parsley. And as soon as that pasta is done, we're going to plate it up. I'll be back.